Today I will show you how to connect an external SSD like the Samsung T7 Shield. I really like this one, it's really really fast and this one is it's uh, the Samsung T7 Shield I have is 2, two terabytes. So that's going to be fast enough for most of the use cases, but the most important thing about data transfer is not to use the cable that came with the iPad. This cable is pretty much only for charging and or slow data rates. You might want to use a Thunderbolt cable, but if you prefer not to use that, if you don't want to spend extra on a cable like that, I could actually use the cable that came with the Samsung T7 Shield. I can actually use the cable that came with my Samsung T7 Shield and I wrote on this side here because on my computer, in some situations only a way like this when it's up or down like that, the, it goes the fastest speed. It can work with the fastest speed sometimes on computers when it's only one way. So I wrote it like this so I know which way, which way is up. So first thing to do, I connect the SSD, external SSD. This is the Samsung T7 Shield, but this can work with most of the external SSDs, especially the high-end ones, Samsung, Crucial, or even, I don't know, SanDisk, Kingston. The I like the Samsung a lot because it's really, it's been... It's been working pretty well for me. I want to use, when I get the case for the iPad, I will want to make some kind of a mount for the SSD with the hook and loop, some kind of Velcro material to place it on the iPad because now basically to connect, to connect the SSD, all you have to do is plug in the SSD into the USB port of the iPad and that's all really. So I plug in the SSD and you see the light, it starts to blink there and the iPad is communicating, the iPad is communicating with the SSD and I can show you now the files on the SSD. I open the files up on the iPad and here I see there is a new folder, you see it here, there is a new location, the T7 S P, that's the name I gave to that SSD drive on my computer and I could actually copy some files from the iPad onto the SSD like that here so I could go into on my iPad. Okay, so I could use the photos app to copy some pictures. I could use the I could use the photos app to copy some pictures like this video. So I have a few videos and pictures and I will select I have a few of these photos and videos and I'll select this and I want to move them to the SSD. So to do that, I click, I tap the share. So I have this file selected and then tap the share. And here I have the option to export as originals. It's interesting, it's not showing all the way there. Okay, I'll try to hold it vertically like that. So hopefully, no. Wow. Okay, let's try again. I don't know why it's not showing like this here, but I am looking for the export or as originals. It's either this one or this one. So save to files or export as original. Save, save five items and then this one. Save nine items. Okay, this is, this is probably the export originals. And here I could do go to the T7. I could go to the external SSD here. And I can make a new folder, test like that. And save the files here. And it's going to copy the files to the SSD there. So now if I go to the files app, I go to the SSD. You will see the folder I created. And you also see the files I created here. You also see the files I created here. This is a video recorder that's 60 frames per 
second. I'm playing this video ex directly from the SSD there. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce the volume. It's playing directly from the SSD. So this is really great. The photos also, that's perfect. And if I want to close this, I can close this option there. There is no need to eject the SSD. Be careful with the erase option here. So once you finish with this, when you're finished with this, if you want to make sure that the files are not being accessed, you can open, like do this swipe from below to halfway like this. And then you can close the apps related to the photos so you don't have any problems that files are being accessed while you're using the iPad. And now the light is off and I can unplug it. If I want to plug it back in, it's going to be the same as the first time. I go to the files and the T7 shield is there. The test folder is there and my video file is playing again from the SSD like that. I hope this helps you copy the files from your iPad to the SSD and in general you can access files from the SSD. You can also record to the SSD directly if needed or you can use files from the SSD. I'm planning to use DaVinci Resolve on this iPad and the SSD is going to have the video files. Hopefully everything is going to be working perfectly. But yeah, this is how you record. This is how you use an SSD on the iPad. And ideally you will have it. Ideally the SSD will be tied to the iPad in some way. To the case, not directly to the iPad, but in some way like this. So when you have your iPad, it's sitting together as one unit. Also with a, with a shorter cable, that's going to be a better option. So I'm going to use some kind of a Velcro hook and loop option on the case. I'm waiting for a case for the iPad to arrive and also a screen protector. So now you saw the LED was off and I can use this SSD in a computer or in anywhere, even on the iPhone or on an Android phone. I hope this helps you use SSD drives on the iPad. So now you see the file is not available. If I try to play it there is no file and the file here the drive here is not there anymore the t7 shield drive there is not there anymore so every time i plug it back in it will show again thanks for watching i hope this helps you get more storage this is a really great way to use more storage on your ipad especially when you use the lowest this is a great way to use more storage on your ipad this is a great way to use more storage on your iPad. When you buy the cheapest model, you don't spend extra on the one tera. You don't spend extra on the one terabyte model. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.